Well, now, should you boycott Piers Morgan? That's me, of course. A number of people seem to think so online. The hashtag's been trending all week, pushed by several high-profile Muslims and pro-Palestinian accounts. That's despite the show, in my opinion, doing more to give a platform to pro-Palestinian voices since this war began than any other probably in the world. End the blockade, the end the apartheid, the end the occupation. The, the, the notion that Israel is defending itself mm. is as absurd as the notion that the rapist is defending itself from the victim. That's a big charge to make about uh, well, the he, president of the United has, States. He has just lied before getting any evidence. Uh, but dealing with Israel is so difficult. It's like being in a relationship with a narcissistic psychopath. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom yeah. fighter. Have you never heard Again, that? Bullshit. Palestinians are just numbers. They are not numbers. They are human. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we are here again with another video titled Do You Look At Me As The Muslim Basha? Piers Morgan vs. Dili Hussein. Wow, I believe this is going to be an interesting one. Let's start with the video. Go. Well, despite this, the campaign against me has been led by the AN Institute and backed by several prominent voices in the community. Here's what lawyer Mohammed Akunji, the former lawyer of ISIS bride Shamima Begum, had to say. The fellow is just acting like a petulant child. He might as well, frankly, interview himself with a mirror on his show at this point. Absolutely no manners, behaves appallingly. It's actually an embarrassment. So until and unless he can demonstrate that he knows now how to interview people with a bit of good manners and grace, then uh, I just don't want to hear it anymore. I suggest everyone boycott him. Well, tonight I thought I'd face this boycott head-on in uncensored style with as much good grace and manners as I can muster. Joining me to discuss this is the deputy editor of Muslim News website, Five Pillars, Dili Hussain, which has written and spoken a lot about this week about why Muslims should be boycotting me. So, Mr Hussain, thank you for joining me. Thank you why for should I be face. boycotted? My, my position is, as I've just shown with that mashup. Genuinely, genuinely do not think there's a television news show in the world that has given a more consistent or bigger platform to pro-Palestinian voices. And honestly, the only interviews that have got fractious have come when I've asked the question, do you view Hamas as terrorists? Do you condemn what they did on October the 7th? And if people prevaricate then, I have got angry because I just think that's non-negotiable. To their credit, many pro-Palestinian voices haven't tried to do that. They've accepted it was an appalling terrorist attack. And then we move on to often very civilised debate. But, you know, if you can't assess what happened then for what it clearly was, I, I have a problem with that. Now, I just think overall, I don't get the boycott. Why would you want to stop people watching a show that has so many voices giving your side of this story? Is our segment going to be as courteous as the one you just did with Mark Regev. You think that was courteous? I think it was courteous and respectful. Yeah, you think, but... Do, do, you, do you think we can have that engagement? Do you think I asked him good questions? You gave him, but you gave him enough time to answer without interjecting. You know what I think about Mark Regev? He's always very respectful to me. He answers the questions. You may not agree with I the answers. I will answer all your questions. But when people come on, Jeremy Corbyn, mm -hmm. the doctor earlier this week, mm -hmm. when people come on and simply won't give a yes or no answer to a yes or no question, mm -hmm. that also can be aggravating. You know, I don't... Look, sometimes I get a bit intemperate. Sometimes I do get a bit emotional about stuff. It's an emotional story, right? Do you want to use this opportunity to apologise to one billion Muslim women? No. Why is that? Because it was completely misconstrued. Because it was in response to the whole um, filth... Yes. It, right? So the context of my question was that if you want to treat women yeah. in the way that this member or his organisation... Why was that your instinctive response? Because I felt that that quote was so disgusting that one of his own group had talked oh. about needed to get rid of a secular law, bring in Sharia law, so you could get rid of LGBT filth and feminist filth. And then the first reaction of a doctor was to say, I agree. And I was like, really? Okay. That's how you want to treat women? Okay. You want to treat women as feminist filth? Now, it got clipped up purely as me saying, what, you want them to be oppressed? That wasn't what I said. Well, I don't think, actually, anyone who watched the whole thing people like you did... Monologue. People have seen your monologue. Yeah, yeah. They've seen your clarification. Yeah. And they're still... And it's still trending. Yes, because Why the original that? clip was so misleading. It made out that I think all women who are Muslims yeah. are oppressed or all those who want to become Muslims would be heading towards oppression. So you, I don't feel that. So you don't but, want to so you don't want to apologize to those Muslim women who were offended. No, I want to apologize to anybody who watched the clip that was put out what about and those was who have watched and was it? and it, listen and in my view was deliberately misled. Okay. Deliberately misled because I don't believe that. What about your statement from 2019 
you and I on the LGBT issue. You mm. described Muslim parents protesting peacefully within the law of the land mm. as they're behaving as if they're in Islamabad. Mm. Do you stand by that comment? What was it? Remind me of that. Muslim parents in Birmingham protesting against LGBTQ education to be mm. taught to four or five year olds. You said twice with Samantha Reid and mm. I had to check you the second time. You said, why are they behaving like it's Islamabad? Okay, well, I don't remember us doing that, but I'll go and check it and I'll give you a response when I've checked it. If, uh, you, if you did say that, do you think that's an appropriate comment? It depends. I mean, it depends. It, I, I'm trying to remember. I was on Good Morning Britain, right? So this is four years ago. Yeah. I'd have to go back and look at it. Uh, I would have probably taken a view that if people were protesting in a very aggressive manner about LGBT education, I would probably think at the time that that was inappropriate. Well, why Islamabad? I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at the quote, right? Another instinctive response. OK, but you haven't mentioned this before, so you've mentioned it to me now. I'll go back and watch it. I, I will. I'll go back and Please watch do. it. I'll give you a measured response. But let's get to... Sharia law. Do you hate Sharia law? I don't hate Sharia law. You, but... said, you, you said you know about Sharia law, so what credentials... I know, I know that have? Sharia law operates in a number of countries around the world, okay. and I know that in somewhere like Afghanistan, yeah. the women who are under Sharia law, imposed by the Taliban, are deeply oppressed. Would you agree with that? What qualifications well, do you have on. to even talk about Sharia Would you law? agree with that? What qualifications Would you agree do you with have? That? What qualifications do you have? Let's try and reach points of agreement. Yes. Do you agree that the way the Taliban treats women is oppression? I want to... I, I'm going to answer your question. Can you answer it? I, I, I will answer your well, question. Well, answer it. But I want to know why... Well, don't you... answer supplementary no, first. No, 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 but answer my you... question. You said you know about Sharia law. I just, I just asked you a specific question. I just question. want to know what your credentials are. I'm just speak about this. I'm just tonight. asking you about the situation in Afghanistan, there are where the Taliban interpretation and implementation of Sharia law, in my opinion, and the opinion of most people outside who's of Afghanistan. Who's most people? Well, I'm about to ask you whether you agree with who's it. Most people. Do you think the way women are treated in Afghanistan by the Taliban? There are aspects is, of this, there is are oppression aspects, or not? There are aspects of misapplication of Sharia law. No education. Law. There's a. Please, we're going down that road again, aren't we? Well, you tell me. I've just said to you, there are misapplication of Sharia law, not just in Afghanistan, across the... So is the Taliban world. misapplying it? I'm asking you, what is your expertise to you know, comment on this? Sorry, it's my show. I do I'm the not, question. But you invited me. I'm just asking you a question. You haven't answered it. Does, is the Taliban there implementing are, Sharia law accurately or not? Not entirely and comprehensively. OK, not. so we can agree that there, there is oppression of women. There is most certainly aspects to reform and right. review in the education system of Afghanistan. Would you, would you say the way women are treated in Afghanistan right now by the Taliban is oppressive? I don't appreciate this line of questioning, Piers. Of course you don't. I don't. Because you know why. I'll tell you why. Do you know why? And it is this... Because someone will clip up no, you saying no, 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 the no. Taliban are oppressing no, women. And before it, you know it, it, it Dilly, you type. will be trending worldwide. It is this Everyone type will go, of wow, Dilly Hussain says Muslim women it are is, oppressed. It is this you see how of, easy it is to mislead people. It is this people. type of questioning what makes people think you are Islamophobic. Yeah. This is why you want to boycott you me, because you don't want me asking no, difficult no, it's, questions. It's got nothing to do with it. You don't you. want me asking difficult so, questions. So the reason why people are calling for your boycott is because you offended one billion Muslim women. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No. Yes, you, why, is, why is it trending? OK, as I've just said to you, I no, could you now... You actually stand by I that. I could now clip up you criticising the Taliban... Wait. Criticising the way Taliban treat women mm -hmm. under Sharia law. I could clip just that bit of you stammering and looking awkward and conceding. Simply it's not right, right? And then before you know it, it becomes Dili Hussein wax the Taliban, this is wrong, women are being oppressed, blah, blah, blah. And you'll sit there going, hang on. But that's how it works. It's misleading, okay. it's deliberate, but you have it's antagonistic. You have I form. don't have form. You have form. No, I don't. You have form. No, I don't. Do you want to give me the, exa you want me to give me the example? I'll give you, let me give you a better example. Let's oh, go back to 2003, okay. when this country, my country, yeah. launched an illegal invasion of Iraq. Okay. Right? Who stood up then? right, for Iraqis? Who stood up for innocent people in Iraq and launched the biggest media campaign against the British government in modern times? Me, okay. right? Do you know that? Yes, do you remember that? Do you give me any right. credit for that? Or do you look at me as the Muslim basher? Because I'm not, and you know I'm not. So we're going back to 2003. Why don't we talk about 2019? Why don't we talk about... You went back you have, first. No, the fact that you have no qualifications to talk about jihad. You don't even have a primary principles basis to talk about. No jihad. communications. I've been, in journal, I've been in journalism for no, 35 yeah. years. I've had to yes, cover. Sir. I've had to cover this for 35 and years. And you never pose these such questions to any of your Israeli guests about why. You've Netanyahu, literally just heard me Netanyahu, for 10 minutes Netanyahu, ask difficult Netanyahu, questions. Netanyahu and yep. senior diplomats who have used biblical verses, yep. biblical verses of yep. Amalek, yep. to carry out yes. genocide. Have you questioned anyone about that? Did you watch my show you? last night? Did you question? Did you watch my show last night? Different? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. You wouldn't have seen Norman Finkelstein then for oh. half an hour oh. okay. talking exactly that's, about that's that. Right. I'm talking about yourself questioning your guests. You've just literally heard me I'm asking grilling Netanyahu's spokesman. You call that a grilling? I think so. Yes. <sighs> yeah. 
You call that a grilling? Yes. And by the way, if you answered the questions in the same respectful way he does and answered the questions, it would be more I respectful. Disrespect the tone. No, because you won't answer the questions. What question do you want answered? I just asked you, do you condemn the way the Taliban treat I women? I just said to you that there are applications and misapplications of Sharia law, not just in Afghanistan, across the breadth of the Muslim okay, world. OK, let's go over the stuff that was contentious with the doctor, right? I asked him, was what happened October the 7th a terror attack? Was it? I believe it to be a military offensive by various factions of Palestinian groups, not just Hamas, and many of them are not even banned under UK law. Was it a terrorist attack? Pardon? Was it a terrorist attack? Have you come to an agreement about what it means to yeah, be a terrorist? I've got the full rundown of what terrorism is, but as I had at the time. But you didn't. You... No, no, I had it. I wanted to know what the doctor's interpretation of I'm it was. I'm not the doctor. What's your interpretation of terrorism? Terrorism yeah. is an act of violence targeting children and civilians mm -hmm. to advance the political... Correct. Is that what Hamas did on October the 7th? Is that what you think? Is that what you think? I'm asking you. I don't believe it was an act of terrorism. No. You don't? No. OK. Even though they literally did what you just articulated as a definition of terrorism. Do you have proof that they targeted women and children and civilians yes. specifically? What's oh, the proof? I'll tell you the proof. What's the proof? You the, the, the GoPro videos. Oh, you don't think it happened? Oh, the GoPro videos. So also, like the doctor, you no, deny... No, 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 no. You I've deny seen the videos. The, I'm a journalist. I've authenticated the videos. Right. I've seen the videos. Right. But show me the proof ah. that women and children were specifically targeted as opposed to... They were literally a, burned alive in homes. To, OK, where's the proof? People were beheaded. Proof. Get, Babies get, get, were killed. Name me one child. One child was beheaded. Name me one child that was beheaded. And I will mourn and condemn with you. I just said people Name me were one beheaded. Child. I didn't no, say a child. No primary source right? subject. No, no. no. So what, just to be clear... No primary source Just to be clear, like the doctor, you do not believe that anyone was beheaded, that children were killed? Let me clarify where I'm wrong here. Were, were these things happening? Israeli civilians were killed. How many? I don't know. We, Mark Gregor doesn't even know. Mm. We need to first establish... No, they do know. How many... We know at least 1,200 people, Israeli including citizens? around 400... Uh, soldiers. So uh, we're assuming 800 civilians okay. were killed, and we know at least how many of them were killed by Israel? at least another 200 odd civilians were taken hostage. Right? How many right? Of them were killed by Israel? How many do you directed? think? A lot higher no, than a lot it's not. Higher. Yes, it is. There's no evidence of that. Of course, it is. No, it's not. Just look at the Nova. Just look at the Nova Music Festival and look at the burnt out right. cars. You see, Hamas doesn't even you have see. This is the problem, isn't it? That. The real reason you want me boycotted is I'm telling the truth. And what you're doing is trying to convince viewers, yeah. and maybe your Muslim fan base, I don't know, um, you're trying to convince them that what we saw through the eyes of Hamas's own technology, where they gloated and boasted about what they'd done, didn't happen. No, what and you want me to no, think... No, and you want me to think that even though no, you articulated... Hang on. No. That you articulated a description of terrorism and then said that didn't apply to October the 7th, even though that's exactly what happened... You see, I would say that's delusional. Mm -hmm. I would say it's deliberately misleading, mm -hmm. as was the attempt to try and make me apologise to Muslim women for apparently of calling them stand oppressed, by that which I didn't do. And you stand by that comment? Which I didn't... Yes. You, could, you couldn't care less about the offence caused to one billion Muslim women yeah, but or one point eight billion Muslims you, about talking about jihad and no, no, the sacred law no, no. of Muslims. There was a deliberate, deliberate attempt to okay. misquote me out of context to try and make out that it's the way you interpreted it. Anyone who watched the whole exchange knew what I was doing. Do you that when you have a member of that group do, talking do about you filthy Israel feminism... Has commit terrorism? Sorry? Do you no, I don't. Terrorism? No. Okay. Do you believe state actors can commit terrorism? It's possible. It's possible. But you don't believe Israel has? I do not. With those figures that are screaming at you at your face... If you, again, okay. if you'd watched the show last night, you would have seen my monologue was a strident criticism... I don't watch your monologues on religious. You know what? Maybe you should watch a bit more if you want to boycott the show. If you want people to stop watching me, it might be useful if you ever watch no, it. I do watch it here and there. Yeah, but do you, though? Yeah, I do. Dilly, yeah, no, or do no, you watch the odd little clip on social oh, media that's been taken out of context no, and then you say, the issue, boycott you know, this guy? The issue isn't about boycotting Piers Morgan per se. It's about unless you mm. rectify the way you deal with your Muslim guests, mm. then boycott is on the options. That's what it is. Mm. Now, if you're saying to me, did Hamas commit an act of terrorism, I've made it abundantly clear. It was a military offensive by various factions, mm. not just Hamas. Now, it wasn't a military uh, offensive. Oh, it, was it, a what was it? What was it? It was a terrorist attack okay. against predominantly civilians but yet, who were brutalised, they were tortured, but, but 7, they were burned, 7,000 children, were beheaded. Decapitated Palestinian children mm. isn't terrorism, is it? 7,000 children dead I have, without heads, actual without heads. Again, if you had without heads, again, without limbs. Again, if you had watched my show last night, you would have heard exactly what my view of is this was. But here's the thing. Is it you did 
the president of the United States thinks they've been indiscriminately bombing. So basically, if, you're just going to parrot whatever Biden says? No. Is that what, is that what it no, is? No, I'm going to say... Do you not have a conscience of If the president of the United States has intelligence mm. of indiscriminate bombing, that is a war crime. We've heard the denial. It took 70 days. We've heard the denial. But if it turns out the United States has intelligence of indiscriminate bombing, that is a war crime, and I will call it for what it is. Right? So it's what, what, so it's what what's going... It's what what's, hang on. It's what's going on in Gaza. Mm. Horrible. Yes. Is it disproportionate? I believe it is. Are they going to win against Hamas and wipe them all out? I don't think they are. Is America going to lose patience very soon? Is it yes. Cleansing? It's not ethnic cleansing. Is it genocide? And it's not genocide. No, okay. it's not. Okay. Because that actually involves the eradication of an entire people. If they wanted to, they could drop a nuclear bomb on Gaza and kill everybody We've there. We've already had those That would be genocide. I don't believe it qualifies yeah. as genocide, right? And these terms are important. Okay. Are the Palestinians being treated... Well, think I believe are the Palestinians as he's articulated last night, yeah. at length mm -hmm. and very powerfully. Yeah. And we had a very reasonable conversation, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I commend you to watch it. Go back and watch it and maybe you wouldn't be I'm calling for boycotts. Right? I genuinely You're very triggered about being boycotted, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, because I feel, it's, I, I feel it's really unfair. Why? I do. Because, I've, I, I, A, I don't think you've been watching the show, okay. and that's quite I've clear. I've watched some of these shows. And it's that's quite shows. clear. Okay. I don't think you sat, quite watch me sit with Bassam Yusuf for two hours okay. and really try and get under the weeds of this conflict mm -hmm. with somebody who can talk me all through it, right? So why didn't Mohammed Hijab get that same treatment, Loki get that same treatment? But they have. Why didn't Samzoma get that same they treatment? They have. I've do you know how do you know how religiously I have actually watched certain episodes mm. that on average you interrupt your Muslim guests twenty one point three seconds. Really? What's your views on that? Did you watch the Bassam Yusuf interview? No, 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 no. I said. I literally you know, interviewed no, him for more no, than any other guest. Excluding Bassam Yusuf. Excluding oh, excluding Bassam him. Yusuf, excluding how many others do you want to exclude? There was another Palestinian doctor Andrew that Jones. I interviewed at length and never interrupted Jones. him once. Whenever you've had segments where it's fifteen twenty mm. minutes with a Muslim guest, why do you interrupt every twenty seven point three seconds? Not, you know who it is I interrupt. It's the extreme elements. Oh, so you're um, now throwing these labels? Yeah. Oh, why am I extreme? Okay, I think Explain to your view of my extreme. Because you are, your attempt to deny what happened October the 7th is an extremist oh, response. You call me an extremist. Your extreme. refusal to call it no, terrorism no, that's is it. an extremist so, so there we response. Have it. There we have it. So I believe you are an Islamophobe and a genocide enabler yeah. for not using the correct term to describe Israel's indiscriminate okay, genocide. Okay, that's fine. You're perfectly England. entitled to call me that. Maybe we are. You've got to actually produce evidence yes, of that. Produce evidence of that? Yeah. You, Our 7,000 children without limbs and heads. I am not remotely heads. Islamophobic. Yeah, yeah. Never have been. Carry on. Never will be. Yeah. Right? Ever. Okay. Right back to when I led the campaign against the Iraq war. Okay. In this country. Against my own government. Okay. Right? Never have been. Okay. It's an ugly slur you've tossed around because you've seen some misconstrued clips from an interview with a guy who wanted to deny the Hamas a terrorist firmly, or they committed the terror attack. And the reason you I did that and what fueled it is because you yourself firmly, don't think what happened on October the 7th was terror. I firmly echo the sentiments. I firmly echo the sentiments of the 91% of 13,550 people polled mm -hmm. that believe you're an Islamophobe. Let me ask you, if you want to boycott me yeah. and shut me up and not give me any exposure... That was, never the, that was never the end goal, by the way. It was always okay. a case of the community reviewing how we engage with people. You want to stop Muslims coming on the show? Unless you fix up the way you engage with them, yeah. OK, so what are you doing here? Huh? What am I doing here? I nearly pulled out. Believe it. I, I nearly, why are you here? I came this close... Oh, because Bharati, your producer, has been on my case. Yeah, but why are you here? To converse, to, you're, to you're, discuss. You're a grown man. Oh, well, I'm here to check whether you Did my booker bully before. you into it? Who bullied you into it? Did my booker no, bully you into all, it? No, not at all. So why are you here? I'm here to ask you squarely, are you an Islamophobe? No. So can you clarify those statements about Muslim women being oppressed? I've already, I've already, had? I've already clarified it. And you've not apologised for it. So that means you stand by I've it. I've clarified it. Stand by it. What do you know about Sharia law? I clarified it for you. Do you apologise? I've also clarified that you. you for I've also clarified law? that you believe the Taliban is oppressing women in Afghanistan. No, I believe. Where did I say that? You see how easy it is when to twist things. See how easy it is to twist things. Pierce, we we Pierce can have calls a story. Any, anyone who rejects Pierce's version, which is basically mm. the Israeli version of events, they're an extremist. They're terrorist sympathizers. Who are you going to tag after this interview? You've got no one to tag, have you? I no think the, the story out of this will be that you have attacked the Taliban for who, the treatment of women. Who, who are you going to tag? Which is kind of ironic, isn't it? Who are you going to tag? Huh? Who are you going to tag after this exchange? Who am I going to tag? Oh, you tagged NHS. Oh, I did. I'll tell you why I tagged that. I'll tell you why. Who are you going to tag? Because I genuinely believe it is wrong that a, a, a doctor in the NHS in this country... 25 years have Hang on. ..can publicly support a terrorist group who is Ill, which is an illegal entity in this country... Hang on. Hamas is a prescribed terror group. He said what they did was resistance. That is supporting them. That's not it, is, it is not saying they're a terror group. This it's country not. says they are. What he did was a crime. By coming on this programme, 
It's a crime. You may when, not think so. When did you become the law enforcement agency of no, the United No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not the law you're enforcement a, you're, agency. You're, you're a journalist. It is a criminal. You're not CPS. It is a you're criminal, not CPS. as you know from those who've been supporting a mass at the protest, okay. if you publicly support a prescribed terror group in this country, it is a crime. So choosing to face resistance over British... terrorism is, is support. Is that what you It saying? is support, yes. OK. Yes. So can I just ask you just one last thing? Sure. One last thing. The act of Great Britain mm. in liberating Europe under Nazi occupation yeah. was resistance. What no, it wasn't. Is? Yes, it was. It wasn't resisting. Of course it was resisting. We were defi- you re- you're resisting a foreign invader in the continent. Right, we were, we were taking down the Nazis. Okay. OK, you're taking out... Well, guess what? According to the Palestinians, they're taking down the Israeli-occupied mm. colonial settlers. Mm. Do you see where we, we... can just carry on. We can just carry mm. on. What, where, 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 what do we you know do what, this? Jenny, what do here's do? the thing. What do we do? I want to have that conversation. Can we have it more respectfully in yes, the future? Yes, we can. Wicked. But don't try and launch a boycott to stop the one guy who's putting up more Palestinian voices than anyone else in the Why world. Why do you interrupt every 27.3 seconds with most of your Muslim guests? If you'd watched last night for the whole show, you would have seen I didn't. Okay. It depends who the guest is and how they're behaving. Have but I answered do- you today? Well, only when you don't answer questions. Which question of have I not answered? A lot. You won't even no. realise it. Go back and watch Actually, it. And you didn't answer a lot either. Go back and watch it. But here's the point. We've reached a point of a bit more of a civilised dialogue, right? Yeah. We can do that. I would like to have that Just with you. Just treat your Muslim guests better. I do. With dignity. You're not watching courtesy. enough of the interviews. No, I've seen Abdul Wahid. I've so seen Ahmed Hijab. I've seen Loki. No, I've no. seen Sam Zomla. I've seen all these episodes. You're, no, you're not watching. I've seen them all. You're not. You're not watching isolated shows okay. with people who come in and, by the way, are very aggressive with me, which is fine. If they're going to be aggressive with me, I'll be aggressive back. If people want to be calm and respectful, as Norman Finkelstein was last night, I'll be calm and respectful back. If you chose to be like that tonight, I'd have been the same way with you. It's been a bit of mishmash. Of been a bit of mishmash. Come mishmash back again. Let's yeah. keep having the dialogue. Yeah. It's important. I would like to think we can be constructive on Do the show. Do you promise to treat your Muslim guests better according to what they accuse you of? No, here's, no, because the idea that somehow I'm an Islamophobe bears no relation to what viewers who watch the show every night would think. You haven't watched the show very often. You've made it. What's your, views on, the mil- what's your views on the millions, tens of millions mm. of Muslims mm. and non-Muslims in global South mm. countries that have taken to the streets to voice support for the events of 7th of October? I think they're wrong. Tens of millions? Yes. Hundreds of millions yes. through the breath of the Muslim And world. by the way, wow. it's wrong to support any terror attack. OK. When hundreds and hundreds of civilians the, the are world. brutally, medievally, barbarically murdered in that manner, the only human response is to say it is wrong. So, and aer- if you, so airplane if you bombs support is okay. it, you support terrorism. Who supports terrorism? If you support what they did on October 7th, you support terrorism. That's an absolute gratuitous accusation. And no, it's not. They're a terror group. Horrible. By the way, you're in England where they're a terror group. So you think... Prescribed by the UK government. But you have described, according to your own definition, Mm. that if you choose to not say it's terrorism but resistance, that's support. Where did you get that from? If it's called resistance, not terrorism, you're supporting them. Resistance is just a coinage of a term to describe a political act of violence. That's what it is. Resistance, but do you support what they did? No, no, I'm asking you. No, no, I do the do question. You choose... Do you support what they did then? I believe in the right of every single Palestinian to do what is enshrined and protected to under international law. To commit an act of terrorism. Law. Yes, because you reject international law when it applies yeah. to Muslims and Palestinians. To commit an act of terrorism. I'm not doing this, piece. Not doing what? Answering a question? I believe in the right of Palestinians. Is that why you want to boycott me? No. Huh? Oh, I'm sat here. I'm See, talking to you. Yeah, but you've Palestinians have you've the right. You've now dug yourself into a very strange no, place. No. We've well, ended up saying no. that basically no. you believe in that every Palestinian's right to commit terrorism. No, I believe in the right of every Palestinian to resist settler colonialism according to international law. Okay. The first protocol of Geneva Convention is 1949. So you do support what so happened. It's a 1982 so you, resolution. So you do support Article what happened four, October the 7th. 43. You okay. support what happened October the 7th. I support whatever happens that they were allowed to do within international law of all Palestinian factions in. Involved? And you think what happened was in, within international law? I don't. You think what happened was lawful? According to international law, yes. You think what happened on October the seventh was lawful? Yeah. Dilly, mm-hmm. honestly, I would love to under, try and I would love to try and end this respectfully. Under international but law, that is the Islamic biggest law. crock of crap I've no. ever heard in my and so life. Is your, so is your. So you think twelve hundred people being murdered is not a crime? And I believe that the fact that you cannot even call a war crime and a genocide when it takes nineteen thousand people is absolutely has- calumnious as well. Okay. And we agree on mutual manure. Yeah, we but are. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you for having and me. And defying on. your own boycott. Okay. Wow. What an interesting uh, debate. Just by the title, do you look, uh, do you look at me as the Muslim basher, Piers Morgan versus Delhi Hussein? 
boycott Piers Morgan campaign led by British Muslim Institute trending online. Israel at war. Wow. We can tell this debate was really, really heated. And based on the facts they have stated, I think the there was no conclusive agreement. Uh, you can tell it's like Delhi refused to uh, accept what Piers Morgan is saying. At the same time, Piers also uh, refused to accept uh, the fact uh, Delhi is stating. And I totally believe that any act whereby you have to take uh, the life of children, you have to take the life of uh, civilian, uh, is a terrorism act, which I believe uh, Delhi also says also define terrorism by saying uh, by saying this and at the same time is refusing to uh, accept the fact that uh, what Amaz did on October 7 October 7 was a terrorist act and at the same time you are also saying uh, you are also saying uh, any act that involve killing children and killing civilian for to, uh, uh, political reasons that is terrorism and yet are you refusing to accept the fact that what happened on october 7th uh was terrorism because based on the uh, statistics based on the fact pierce morgan have stated in this video that a lot of israeli citizens lost uh, their lives children were killed women were raped and a lot of people were uh, about 200 people were held as hostage I, for one, I totally relate uh, with Pierre Smoga point, and I see that as as a terrorism act, and I I see why Pierre Smogan is being triggered. Uh, I see where, why Pierre Smogan is angered because he believes that you have to come to an agreement, you have to come to reality in order for you to be able to accept facts for what they are, because. You define terrorism, and at the end, uh, you define terrorism quite all right. And what happened as October seventh, you couldn't accept that as a uh, as a as a terrorist act, even after defining terrorism. And you can see in this video, Daily was try Daily was uh, classifying uh, what Amaz did as uh, as a resistance instead of instead of as a terrorist act. And he made a point. He made uh, he said something to back his point. I believe he don't want anyone coming to uh, hold him accountable for his word. Uh, that's why uh, he made he made a point and saying if what uh, Amaz did is acceptable under uh, the international law, if it's acceptable, that means uh, what they did is acceptable. I believe he made that statement because he don't want anyone to hold him accountable that he's supporting what Hamas did on October 7th. And we all know, just like Daily is trying to uh, state his fact by telling Pierce Morgan that a lot of children have lost their life in Palestine, have lost their life in Gaza. And he blamed it on Israel, saying they are committing genocide. We all know a lot of people have lost their life in Palestine. I, I accept that and I totally feel consigned and I am I'm totally feel consigned for them because losing your loved ones, losing, losing children, losing a mother, losing father is something uh, very, very painful. It's something very painful. But we all have, 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 to, have to accept the fact that all this happened because of uh, Hamas has kept on launching missile into israel and israel is trying to defend their people i said the fact that killing civilians killing children is totally unacceptable it's totally unjustifiable i accept that fact also understand that uh before israel released any missile into uh gaza they always inform the civilian that at this minute, at this day, at this hour, a missile is going to be launched at this location. So civilians evacuate this location. And we all understand that a mass in question have been using the civilians as shield. And they have been causing harm to a lot of they have been causing harm not only to 
uh, the people of Israel, they have also been cause, causing harm to their own citizens. If they care about the life of their fellow Palestinians, they care about the life of the citizen in Gaza, they should rather try to uh, resolve the conflict. They should rather try to protect their citizens, just like Israel is doing. And we can all tell uh, Israel why the casualty is uh, very few as very few in Israel as compared to Palestine is because uh, the government of Israel is doing everything possible to protect uh, the life of the citizen. We can tell that Israel uh, is building bunkers for the citizens. So when uh, Hamas launches a missile into Israel, the civilians can get a place to shield themselves. But Hamas is not doing the same thing. Hamas is not doing the same thing. And I believe if Hamas is also building bunker to shield the civilians, I believe there will be less casualty. I also believe if Hamas is not uh, forcing the civilian to remain in the location where a missile is going to be released, because Israel always informed the civilian that missile is going to be released. In certain areas, certain minutes, certain hours, civilians kindly evacuate this area. I believe if Hamas is not using the civilians as shields, I don't see any reason why there will be any casualty. I don't see any reason why any child or any civilian is going to be dead in the in the release of the, that, that missile. Because if you have been informed that a missile is going to be released at a certain location, I don't see any reason why you should remain in that location. And Daily also says something in this video that... Uh, what qualification did uh, Piers Morgan have to make statements or make comments on, about Sharia law? And Piers Morgan tried to make him to understand that, uh, I tried to ask him a question that does Delhi believe that the treatment of women by the Taliban in Afghanistan is totally uh, uh, unacceptable? And he wasn't able to answer the question because... Uh, Piers Morgan was expecting a yes or no answer, but Delhi tried to answer the question by saying uh, the Sharia law have been uh, misinterpreted, uh, have been misinterpreted, have been misused. But Piers Morgan is giving you an example of uh, of how the Sharia law have been implemented that in in Afghanistan by the maltreatment of women. And was expecting Delhi is going to try to condemn that or tr uh, try to condemn that or give a yes or no answer that uh, uh, in Afghanistan, even the, even when the Sharia law is implemented, if certain things is happening, even after the Sharia law have been implemented, it, it means they misuse the Sharia law. I was expecting such answer to defend the Sharia law since it's saying uh, Piers Morgan has no uh, qualification to comment on Sharia law. You can tell they, they, they never agreed with each other. I've really learned a lot just listening to Piers Morgan and also listening to Delhi. And I believe I would also like to hear your comments, hear your views on, on this topic. Keep the conversation rolling. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Yeah.